today. I really appreciate it and I also want to thank you for agreeing to help me with this. As you know, the uh, our family reunion is a, a pretty big project to undertake for one person, so I really appreciate you offering to help me with it this year. Um, I just uh, came from the back and I brought some supplies with me to go over a few things with you. And it'll just take a few minutes. We're just going to go over a few things. And I want to get your uh, opinion on some things. Did you did you print out the uh, the email list and the mailing list? Great. Okay, you have those with you? Wonderful. Okay, I want to compare your lists to mine and go over the names of the people that we need information for either a an email address or a mailing address preferably an email address because you know we have to pay for the postage for all the um, for all the letters the flyers that we mail out and the more emails that we can send the better we can save money on postage so um, let me set my supplies down the first thing I want to go over with you is the donation box that I prepared and I'm going to show you one that I made last year and I want to get your thoughts on it so if you would let me set my folder down Now, I don't know if you remember seeing this last year or not. This is just a shoe box that I have covered in uh, paper. It's like newspaper type paper. And, and I wrote on it, see, I put donations and thank you. And I drew some little stars and a heart and a smiley face. And I just put some little squiggly designs on the sides. And I covered the box completely all the way over. And the lid just folds over. It's attached in part of the box. And I covered everything on here. And I put some little squiggly designs on the back. It's just a simple shoe box. And then I just cut a hole in the top. And people can put their money in here. And um, I wanted to get an idea if you think this is better. The way we used to do it in the past, we just had a coffee can that got passed around. And um, people seemed to like this a lot last year. So would you be interested in possibly creating something like this? It's very simple. I have the paper, and I can give you that before you go. But the problem is, see, it got torn last year I, when I... Somebody was helping me pass this around and it got torn on the side here. So I would like to make another one. And I'm thinking maybe do another one like this. And you're free to decorate it any way you like. Just, you know, anything you want to put on here, any kind of uh, drawings or anything you like just to make it look more festive and attractive. And this, see, when I wrote donations on here in all caps, I did it first in yellow highlighter and then I came back over it with light blue. I just wanted to stand out and look nice. But you know, I just did this, you know, I just did it any old way. So you could do it any way you want to. And uh, so, yeah, I'll be glad to give you this box if you would like to have it. It just really, it just needs to be recovered. So that would, that would really help me out a lot if you could do that. And of course, I'll give you the paper. Like I said, I have, um, I have a whole roll of newsprint that I'll give you, and you can take it with you along with the box. Would that be okay? Do you, okay? All right. Well, I'm just going to leave this over here for you. Okay. Um, I also want to go over the layout of the, uh, the room that we rent at the convention center for the reunion. Uh, we have had the same format, the same layout for the tables and chairs for several years. And I had several people comment on the way it's laid out and that th there might be a better way that we could do it. Because it's not really good for mingling and talking to people. So I want to show you, I've just made a picture of the layout that we had last year in 2015. And a proposed layout for this year just to see what you think. I would like to go over that before we get into the uh, email and mailing addresses. Okay, you have to, and don't pay any attention to this. It's, uh, it's kind of rough. I just drew this myself. I used clip art for the chairs. Okay, I'm gonna set the, okay, I'm gonna put the proposed one aside for just a minute. Let's 
gonna get in the way. All right, now, this should give you an idea. Of course, this, this should look familiar. This is how we've had it set up for the last few years, where we have, uh, we go to the party supply store and we rent folding chairs. And we've been putting them kind of on either side of the room. And then we might have a couple on, on these sides, but usually most of the chairs seem to be on these sides over here. And the long section part of the room, we have two tables for food right there. And then we have the drinks down at the end of the tables. And then we have another table, just a smaller one. It's like one of these tables for the door prizes down here. And the problem, and I've noticed this myself and other people have commented on it. It's kind of difficult if you have people sitting over here, uh, you know, you, you end up basically with half the family over here and half the family over here. And, and it's, it's kind of difficult. You have to work your way through this little obstacle course to get from one side of the room to the other. And a lot of people said that they would like to see a different layout this year. And I said I would consider that. So I've come up with a proposed change to the layout for this year. And of course, another problem is, you know, they, they, uh, the room that we always rent has little uh, tables on the sides, which is how the chairs ended up over here. But the tables are very small and it's not, they're so small it's hard to really get, to put your plates and your cups on there. And a lot of people end up leaving plates and cups all over the floor and it's a lot to have to clean up at the end of the day. They, they end up setting them down and walking off and just leaving them there. And then I have to go around after the reunion and pick everything up and, and, and clean up. So I'm thinking maybe if we had different types of tables, that might be good, maybe larger tables. So um, and we'll get into that in a minute. So this is the way it's been. This is the way it was last year. And it's been that way now, I think for probably three or four years. And of course we have a standing reservation with the convention center for this room every year. And uh, so, we'll be in the same room again so we can work with the same uh, parameters. We have the same size room and the layout is the same. So here's what I had in mind for this year. Same size room and this is my proposal for the changes for this year. Okay. First of all, I have moved all the food over here on one side and on one large long table. It's going to be a very long table. I've already spoken with the party supply folks, and they do have um, a table that would work. And then, instead of having the chairs on either side of the room, I'm going to put them all kind of in the middle, with a, possibly just a bit of an open space here for people to stand and talk and to move around a little better without bumping into chairs and tables and stuff. So, and I'm going to try different types of tables. See, now the tables that are included in the room, we could put back here and we could use them to set things on if we need to, like, um, you know, the, the containers that people bring their food in, the little fold-up containers, we can set them over here on the tables provided in the room just to keep them out of the way. And then, of course, on this side of the room, we have the drinks and the door prizes. So everything is easily accessible and people can, can move about much easier and get to the food and the drinks plus you know i was thinking with people having to move about to get to the food and the drinks they're going to cross the room more often and it may give them more opportunities to talk to people i thought that might be good and again like i was saying we're going to use different tables if you agree if you think this is a good idea these are larger tables they're round and we could put maybe one table per three to four chairs. They are larger. This is just a this is just a representation. It's not to scale or anything. But we can get tables that are big enough for three or four people to kind of sit around if they want to. And this will leave more open space. It will have everybody together in one section instead of splitting them in half. And people can get to everything that they need to get to. So what do you think about that? Does that look like something you'd like to try? And of course, you know, we can try it this year and if it doesn't work for some reason, we can always try something different next year if you want to help me again next year, which would be wonderful. So you want to try that? Okay. Well, I, I 
will contact the, uh, the party supply store tomorrow. I have already spoken with them about the, the big table and the small round table. And I will go ahead and put in an order for those for the reunion. And I will uh, arrange the delivery of those items. They will deliver them and set them up. And I'll take care of that. And uh, I, I've also, I'm going to supply the paper products, the napkins, uh, paper towels, things like that tablecloths, um, and I also have, uh, I have acquired the uh, paper plates, bowls, forks and spoons, and things like that. So those will all be there. I will bring those on the morning of the reunion, and I'll get everything set up. Probably what we'll do, since the entrance to the room is up here, I will have the start of the line here, and up here we'll have um, the napkins, plates, forks, spoons, and knives, and things like that. We'll have them all up here at the beginning so they can go on down the line and have everything they need. And then I'll bring the cups for the drinks. I'm bringing drinks and several other people are also bringing drinks. And I will set up the cups on the, on the drink table and the drinks. I will also be purchasing the door prizes from the donations that we received last year. And I will bring all that and set that up at the door prize table. Now, if you have your list, your two lists, wonderful. Let me get mine. I just want to go over. I want to check and make sure that the version you have is the one that I have. And we will start working on getting the flyers sent out. And we'll go over that in a minute. Okay, I've got my folder here. This, um, this folder has all my reunion stuff in it. And uh, let me see. I have my two lists paper clipped together. Right here. Okay. Now, my first list, uh, these are people that I have. These are email. Okay, can I look, let's look at your email address list first. And I'm gonna read off these names. And I would like you to check your list and let me know if what I have is the same as what you have. Okay. All right. And I can handle, I can handle the email. I already have um, the 2016 version of the reunion flyer, and I'll be happy to email that out to the people that we have email addresses for. I do want to stress during the announcements this year at the beginning of the reunion that anybody who can provide an email address, uh, I would like to have that instead of the mailing address because it is it's cheaper to send an email than to buy a stamp and mail it. So I'm going to, I'm going to address that with people. Okay, well, let's begin on the first page. And these, uh, most of these are in alphabetical order. There may be some added at the end that are not. And I'm going to just read off the names. And for people that I don't have an email address for, I will, I will note that. All right. Mike and Sherry Almond, Renee Almond, Shane and Heather Bateman, Ravonda Bowles, Lucky Brennan. I do need a new address for her. It was, um, the last time I sent her an email address, it came back as undeliverable. Ramona Charles, Tony and Connie Charles, Albert and Linda Easton, Roy and Dolores Easton, Tammy Easton, Carol Gregory. I do need a new email address for her. Hers also came back as undeliverable. Michelle Helmsley, Doris Helmsley, Bill and Nancy Helmsley, Scott and Christy Hunter. There's also came back as undeliverable, so I need to check with them on an address. Jim and Kathy Hunt, Chuck and Sherry Isberger, John and Mary Ann Lawson, and we do need, we need an email address for them. Bill and Sandy Lawson, Harvey and Kathy Lawson, Butch and Joyce McElroy, Martha McElroy, hers came back as undeliverable. Roger and Carla McElroy. Chad and Ashley McElroy, and we need a new email address for them. Doug and Marie McElroy. Mary McElroy. Larry and Lois Parsons. Steve and Janet Pfeiffer. Chris and Wanda Pfeiffer. Aunt Joe Poston. Ryan and Amanda Poston. Gwen and Bruce, uh, Gwen and Bruce Van Story. Eddie and Jewel Wallace. We do need a new email address for them. It came back as undeliverable. Gregory Wallace. 
Roxana Willis, Donna Sasser Willis, Cindy Mullis Poston, uh, and hers, we need a new one for her, Greg Poston, and Pam and Tommy Yarborough. Now those are all the email addresses that I currently have or had. Some of those names, those are people that I had an email address for in the past, but it no longer works. So I'm thinking maybe they have a new email address. So I'm going to bring that up and I'm going to ask everybody to look it over. Once we get the final version of this list, um, I'll print it out and I will leave it at the front table for everybody to look at before they leave. And of course, I'll leave a pen if they want to mark anything, you know, add a new email address, make changes, things like that. So those are the email addresses. Okay, now I'd like to go over the mailing addresses and I do have more of those. I have more of these than the email addresses, unfortunately. I've been trying to get email addresses on everybody, but a lot of people, it's just like pulling teeth. They just don't want to give it to you. It's not like I'm going to sell it to anybody. I just need it to send out the flyer once a year. Okay, um, and some of these people, I don't have an email address or a mailing address for, and I'm hoping that I can get some of this information this year. I got your list. Okay, great. Uh, Jason and Ellen Almond, and I do need a, either a mailing or an email address for them. I don't have anything. Susan Bateman. That's probably not a bad idea. Let's do that. I do have the addresses. So what we'll do, I will read the name and then I'm going to read their mailing address. I'm going to make sure that everything is the same on your version as mine. Okay. Uh, of course, Jason and Ellen Almond, I don't have anything yet. Susan Bateman, 1063 Dairy Road, Center City. Dustin and Shauna Bowles, 2075 Grantville Lane in Center City. Rory and Kim Bowles, 3B Drive, Box 140 in Nathanville. Mindy Brennan, I don't have a mailing or an email address for. Amy Brennan, 10, uh, 195 Cottonwood Lane in Nathanville. John Brennan, 540 Front Ridge Drive in Center City. Johnny and Ann Brennan, 4226 Lake Brant Road in Nathanville. Uh, Rachel and Jerry Capel, 681 Berlin Road in Center City. Jimmy and Linda Charles, P.O. Box 983 in Nathanville. Danny and Janice Charles, 2341 Country Road 99, Center City. Anthony and Robin Cowan, 399 Friendship Drive in Nathanville. Connie Cooper, P.O. Box 13493, Atlanta, Georgia. Julie and Stuart Cooper, 212 Foster Drive in Camden. April and Joe Talton, 995 Post Office Box, Post Office Road in Nathanville. Brian and Tamara Easton, 411 North Mariah Street in Nathanville. Dennis and Kay Easton, 865 Starwalt Road in Center City. Donald and T. Elton, 455 Backwoods Lane in Camden. Dustin and Carrie Ellis, 125 Lois Lane in Center City. Henry and Stacy Ellis, 10835 Unity Church Road in Nathanville. Uh, Virginia Ellis, 500 Penny Lane Northeast in Camden. David Paul and Ashley Gregory, I don't have a mailing address or an email address for. Uh, Darren and Lindsay Harris, 5383 Westfield Road in Nathanville. Joey and Karen Harris, 1436 Richard Circle in Camden. Roy and Karen Halston at 660 Washington Drive in Camden. Jody Helms, I don't have a mailing address or an email address for. Judy and Mark Helmsley, 288 Cordelia Drive in Nathanville. Daryl and Pamela Hunter, 305 Nance Farm Road in Nathanville. And for Jonathan and Julie Hunter, I need it. Uh, I don't have a mailing address or an email address. And a lot of these are ones that I sent flyers to last year. I had a mailing address, but they came back as undeliverable, so I just deleted that mailing address. Mike and Andrea Isberger, 125 Alder Branch Drive in Camden. Wendy and Steve Jarvis, 317 Buckhorn Road in Center City. Alan and Jennifer Lawson, 1092 Rosewood Drive in Camden. Sean and Rhonda Lawson, 1414 County Road 62 in Clearwater, Florida. Timothy Lilly at 1577 Cavanagh Town Road in Camden. Richard and Loretta Masterson at 757 Cook Road in Nathanville. 
Edward and Donna Masterson at 812 Manus Road in Dalton Fisher, Indiana. Grace Masterson at 563 Deberry Road in Center City. Leroy and Terry Mayfield at 3709 Baker's Chapel Road at Bain in Bainesville, South Carolina. Ruth McAdoo at 103 Cardan Drive in Camden. That's Sissy. Yeah. Well, her real name's Ruth, but yeah, everybody calls her Sissy. Tim and Katie McAdoo at 254 Scotland County Road in Forestdale. Brenda Kreps McElroy at 683 Deberry Road in Nathanville. David McElroy at 908 Ernest Trail in Camden. Fred McElroy, I don't have a mailing address or an email address for. Hank and Weta McElroy at 1394 Highway 179 in Camden. Jack McElroy, P.O. Box 96 in Nathanville. Jesse and Lisa McElroy, 2034 Collier Road in Center City. Jim Frank McElroy at 174 J Lane in Camden. Jim and Christy McElroy at 200 J Lane in Center City. John McElroy at 1064 Old Dairy Farm Road in Dalesville, Arkansas. Johnny and Lori McElroy at 601 Friendly Way Road, Apartment 3D in Camden. Catherine McElroy at 7821 Halifax Road in Camden. Robin McElroy, 13860 Pea Bridge Road in Nathanville. Roger, Roger McElroy II at 1852 North Carr Avenue in, Nash, in sorry, Nathanville. Ronnie McElroy at 323 Sanders Road in Nathanville. Sammy and Yvette McElroy at 5625 Hopkins Chapel Road, Hopkins Chapel Road in Camden. And for Steve and Carmen McElroy, I don't have a mailing address or an email address. And it's the same for Tim and Sandy McElroy. I don't have anything for them. Uh, Yvonne McElroy is 1337 North Carolina Highway 109 North in Center City. Uh, Diana Morton Moore at 635 Boston Road in Nathanville. Ken and Karen Moore, I don't have anything for. I need a, a mailing address or email address for them. Tim and Wanda Morris, 2306 West C Street in Camden. Chip Muscle White at 8533 Greenware Tra Trail in Camden. Crystal Muscle White, I don't have a mailing address or email address. Josh and Angela Eford Neely, I don't have an address for them. David and Charlene Neely, 1625 Pine Ridge Road in Forest Grove. Jason and Rebecca Parcell, 1160 Kimball Road, that's in Myrtle Beach. South Carolina. Scott and Julie Parcell, 9828 Chestnut Hills Road in Nathanville. Bill and Cindy Pinchot, 103 Foxbriar Lane in Camden. For Caroline Pinchot, I don't have a mailing address or an email address. For Jimmy and Joni Pinchot, 4612 Jarnigan Drive in Nathanville. Ruth Poole Poston, 4612 Jarnigan Drive in Forest City. Chris Poston, 118 New York Drive in Camden. Eddie and Dina Poston, 2662 South Duffy Road, Richmond, Virginia. Gwen Poston, First Baptist Retirement Center, 1302 Old Fox Road, Apartment 7A in Nathanville. Jeanette Clayton Poston, 203 Pool Road in Camden. Joe Poston, 746 Strider Road in Camden. Minnie Poston is 381 Rosalyn Road in Camden. Patsy Poston is 700 Devereux Street in Center City. Polly Hopper Poston is at 408 Arrow Trail in Center City. Scott and Jenny Poston are at 106 Vestal Road in Camden. Stella Wozniak Poston, 103 Cardan Drive in Camden. Terry Lee and Shanna Poston, 379 Roslyn Road, Nathanville. Tim and Susie Poston, I don't have a mailing address or email address. Timothy Poston, 3403 Lovejoy Road in Nathanville. Brad and Lori Quimby, 115 Red Wolf Trail in Breakbird, Tennessee. Llewellyn Poole and Jean Richter, 105 Duggar Court in Camden. Sylvia and Wayne Richter, 275 Sloop Street in Center City. Harold and Angie Sanford, 316 Roslyn Road in Camden. Teddy and Ellen Sanford, 
340 Rosalind Road in Nathanville, Brandon Sheriff, 12789 P. Bridge Road in Camden, John and Tara Simon, P.O. Box 126 in Camden, Kelly and Drew Stokedale, I don't have a mailing or an email address, Eva and Leslie Sutherland, 1979 Highway 109 East in Center City, Leanne Terryton, 104 Judson Court in Camden, Bud and Valerie Truesdale, 3335 West Ennis Street in Forest Grove, Jan and Buddy Underhill, 1924 Berkeley Place in Camden, Edward and Wanda Valdair, 310 Annie Laurel Drive in Nathanville. Just a few more. Gabe and Lynn Wallace, I don't have a mailing or an email address. Stacy and Mark Wallace, 1005 Shores Ac Shore Acres in Spencer, Georgia. Dawn and Lee Wiseman, I don't have a mailing address or an email address. Mandy Willis, 1125 Cannon Farm Road in Camden. Nathan and Alicia Willis, 2312 Dawson Street in Nathan Nathanville. Jason and Tabitha Wilson, 1225 Mount Moriah Church Road in Forest Grove. Michael and Deborah Yarborough, 507 East Young Street, Center City. And Stephen Yarborough, 415 East Young Street in Center City. So that is, does that match up with what you have? Wonderful, that's great. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of people on the list where we mail out the flyers. And I would like to cut that list down this year if possible. So if you could help me, at least help me remember during the reunion to bring that up, that we would like to receive, we would like to swap out some of those mailing addresses for email addresses. And th the list is just going to stay with us. It's not going anywhere. You know, we're not going to sell it to some advertisement company or something. So if we could do that, that would be great. So, all right, um, I have the box. For you and I will get that paper for you the newsprint it's, and it's just plain you can write on it draw on it you can use crayons markers doesn't matter and I will hang on to the lists I will print out a new copy that will take the reunion for people to look through and, and write on if they want to change anything so we have about two weeks until the reunion and we will get together again before then but if you can think of anything that you might like to do, any changes you might like to make, just let me know and we'll definitely talk about it. Okay? Great. Well, come this way and I'll show you out. Okay? Thank you.